What's going on guys? Isaiah with Campo Vans here. Today we're gonna do a quick walk around of this low roof 4x4 Sprinter. A lot of homey touches in there. Got that lived in feel and used it really well. Black Rhino stadium wheels wrapped in the KO2s. Close to OEM look with those alloys that I like. Owl van side steps on here. These are a newer product and I think they've done a great job keeping everything high off the ground. I really like the look there. Got some Owl Vans products back here as well. Storage box, spare tire ladder. I really like how the ladder looks on the low top. I just think it fits really nice. Flare space is providing our sideways sleeve capabilities for the interior. Making room for our large tires and alloys. Uh, we got the Van Cubbis 4.3 kit. Makes a really great ride and the quick adjust capabilities are pretty sweet. And then up front, we've got that CA tune bumper, housing the big old Smitty built winch and a front hitch. A little backstory. This client came out of a diesel Econoline E350 uh, sportsmobile. Really great to work alongside the client. He did a lot of the exterior upgrades and some of the rack and stuff like that. Really had a lot of great ideas for the interior as well. Not only is the owner of this van a off-road enthusiast, but also an outdoor photographer. And you can really see how that plays into a couple uh, design points in this van. I mean, it's really a tool for just getting out there and uh, getting photos. You can tell just immediately off the bat, it's really cozy in here, a really homey place to be. You can see this is our modular bench system. Not only is it a two-seater sideways bench, but is a single-seater, and I'll show you that. We got the lagoon table here. Tons of options with this. You have the option to seat four if you have some guests, or you can get out of the way if need be. So like I said, this now moves into a single seater. Owner actually leaves us open most of the time because it really creates a nice open place for milk crates and stuff like that. Down below, we have a heavy duty drawer slide. Uh, that's a great place for a cassette toilet, or in this case, just extra storage. And that is locking as well. Cruise 130 fridge. Got tons of really cool storage options here. So you got such cool organization that can really only happen by the owner. So we're going with S-Pod for all the exterior lighting, water pumps, stuff like that. We do have an S-Bar, but just for air heating, we've actually got a 110 volt water heater in there. This thing has actually worked really well. It's just got a couple gallon capacity, heats up real quick, five to 10 minutes. And it uses some power, but with the 400 amp hours of lithium, really no problem for that system. He does travel most of the time by himself. No need to do a super wide bed. So if you've done a cool little spice rack there, um, all with really cool inset lighting. Uh, the owner really loves light. So we put a ton of different lights in here and I love how that turned out. So it's big enough to put a laptop in here if you need. A couple USBs, a 110 plug. Um, he's gone ahead and drilled a little hole here and added a little charging cable for his phone mount there. So I just love seeing the personal touches. There's a ton of storage in this van and it's all going to good use. So you can see tons of drawers there. There's even some open space, which is always good to have. You never want to have your van completely full because then that doesn't leave any room for anything you pick up along the way. Uh, we've also gone ahead and put our microwave in this cabinet this time, a little bit different for us, but I'm putting it down here allowed us to have a much smaller overhead cab and keep it a little more open at head level. This is another place where just doing a single bed allowed us to create some more storage. As you can see, we're running all the batteries monitored by our Serbo GX. It shows us all our water, water levels and it also shows how our batteries are doing. All Victron equipment here, super well laid out. He's gone with an all breaker setup instead of fuses on the 12 volt, so uh, super cool way to do that. A little more redundant. As you can see, all of our storage units in this van are lit. So they've got an auto on on some LED strip in there. It's jam packed, got some recovery gear in there, rags, automotive stuff. Been able to save quite a bit of system space by putting the batteries right under my feet. So it's actually a Van Compass storage box. We've got the batteries in there. So we've got some more storage here. As you can see, it's also lit. But because it's a low top, we have had to do a little bifold. So that required us to use some aluminum bars for support. So we'll pull that out. So like I said, got that bifold there, allows it to clear the ceiling. Hyper vent to deal with moisture. Clients actually opted to go with an air mattress here. Really nicely fits in the space. Super light, easy to move around. And of course these do include a little screen function, which we really like, a little window cover and then also a bug screen. So up on the roof, we've got a super minimal setup, which is by design, really low profile. Keeping with that low top theme. Uh, the client set all this up and executed it. So he built all this um, 80-20 racks and made the solar mounts and everything. Alrighty, well I think that about does it for this van. Uh, thanks for checking it out with me. It's vans like this that really make me start to fall in love with the low top again. I love the streamlined feel. I love how purpose built it is. Yeah, if you like what you see and want to check out some more of our builds, check us out on our website or Instagram or YouTube page like you're seeing this now. I uh, really appreciate it. Thanks.